This is Vic, and it's uh, early April 2020. And uh, what I'd like to do is show you how you can grow a variety of things at home. Many of us are at home, and there's a thirst to actually be able to do more of that. So behind me, you'll see a variety of things. We've got various lettuces, we've got herbs, we've got microgreens, we've got tomatoes. We have a huge bucket of parsley back there since we make a lot of tabbouleh. And we've got strawberries that are blooming down here, as well as we've got peppers, cucumbers, and tomatoes over on the other side. And uh, so it's possible to grow all sorts of things, not only in the spring for seed starting, but also to be able to grow these all year long. So the, the, there's a method that's called the Kratky method that I'd like to show you. And there's three jars here at different stages of growth. So these are jars that I'm going to fill up with nutrient-filled water. So this jar is going to get filled up to about this lip. And the reason for that is that we need to be able to get the, the uh, clay pellets wet so that uh, the, the seeds will properly germinate. So you can see this little lip is right there. And now I take a net pot, it's a three inch net pot with clay pellets in it and I'm going to put it in and the water level comes up to the top of the clay pellets. Then I'm going to screw the lid on and then I'm going to take a few seeds and the water level is right at the top and that's really important so that they'll germinate. And uh, these are some lettuce seeds from Fruition Seeds. And, uh, but you can grow a variety of things, and I just happen to be wanting to grow some lettuce. Then we're going to take a sock, a dark sock, and we're going to cover it. And the reason for that is, is that we need to make sure that the plants or the, the jar does not get light into it. So this jar is ready, and it's, it's ready to be put under the light. So we're going to put it under the light for 16 to 18 hours a day. And uh, this is what you'll get in three to four weeks. So you'll see that basically uh, the roots will drop down and start absorbing the nutrient-filled water. And then when you add water back, what's really important is you don't fill the water level above the bottom of the net pot. And that's what allows the plant to get oxygen for respiration and keep it growing and nice and healthy. And then you just add water as needed through the, through the uh, clay pellets. So uh, our, on our main page, you can log into a blog, and there's a lot of information on that blog about uh, how to grow, where you can, how information on growing outdoors, indoors. There's several free booklets that you can download that are free, and it'll show you how to set this up and how to do that. Uh, we also have a kit, which is a, what's called a garden in a box with one of our 17-inch lights, and it basically uh, has everything in it except the nutrients. Uh, the nutrients you could get on Amazon or you can get through us. Um, and we use one called, uh, a nutrient called MaxiGrow that we really like. And it's, uh, it's you know, it's, the, it's your, you know, it's choice to grow whatever you want. And it's, it's a great and simple way to do it. Thank you.